Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Mark. We have another point of view video. This time, we're going to use the Hustler Trim Star. I think we've been using the 32-inch Skag stand-on. This time, we're going to use a Trim Star Walk Behind by Hustler. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about whether I should just completely go all by weekly, all, all by weekly customers and do away with weekly customers. Now, y'all guys are probably saying, why? Doesn't make sense, you want weekly customers, but here's the thing, I think you can make more money. Hear me out, guys. Making more money, having bi-weekly customers, which you could charge more per service every time you go to that property, you get paid more than a weekly service. Real, I'm, I'm going to just do a really quick math on my calculator. So let's just say I got 100 customers that I do a week. Okay, this is every week, 100 customers. All right, let's just say all my customers are weekly customers, right? See the same property every week. So let's say I charge for a typical 5,000 uh, 6,500 square foot property. And when I mean 5,000, 6,000 square foot property, that's, I'm measuring the entire property, not just the grass or the mowing areas. I'm talking about the entire property. So whenever I measure on uh, Google Maps, I measure the entire property. And that's how I break down my prices, okay? And of course, this is just an estimate. If I can't get into the uh, gate backyard with my 34 with the, and I have to push mow, then of course the price does vary on that or if there's excessive weed eating and or edging or there's obstacles like uh, trees, flower beds, pools, trampolines, etc then of course the price will vary but let's just say it's just flat uh, no obstacles really easy 5,000 6,500 6, square foot entire property I'm gonna charge $35 okay so $35 times 100 so I'll be making 3500 a week oh, that's just and, and these are for customers like I mentioned that are uh, $35 weekly customers, right? $35, so I'll be making $3,500. All right, real simple. My bi-weekly customers, same scenario, 5,000 to 6,500, maybe 7,000 square feet. It's just flat, no obstacles, no excessive edging or weed eating. My prices are 65 dollars right for bi-weekly okay let's just see how much let's just say I had okay I got a hundred customers that I got to do that week times 65 that's six thousand five hundred dollars and the reason I'm bringing this up because it's hard to try to sell weekly customers or weekly services to my customers it's really easy to sell them on bi-weekly. Most of them want bi-weekly anyways. And it actually looks, it's almost a win-win situation here. Let me explain. Let's just say for the customers that, that is paying $35 weekly, let's, you know, times four weeks, that's $140 that they spend a month, one customer one weekly customer whereas a bi-weekly customer at $65 times two two weeks that's a hundred and let me see I don't think I got this right uh, is a hundred and thirty dollars now it's only a ten dollar difference right but to the bi-weekly customers in their mind they're thinking oh okay well 
it's definitely uh, I'm saving money. It's cheaper. Let's go with it. And the cool thing about also that you got those extra weeks. Um, like for instance, I think um, we have five weeks in August, if I'm not mistaken. Now those customers that are every other week or bi-weekly, which I kind of want to get away from saying bi-weekly because that usually means either it confuses people. I think when you say bi-weekly, it may, uh, customers may assume it's twice a week or maybe just twice a month, right? But what if there's five, five weeks? Well, you get that extra mo if you just call it every other week, right? Because you got one, you got week one, you got week three, then you got week five. So let's go ahead and do the math. Let's say if, if you set it up that way as well, 65 times three, that's 195 that you get from your bi-weekly customers. So all this being said, I don't know if this makes sense, but I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, it's really easy to get customers to go bi-weekly. So if a customer wants to go bi-weekly, of course you're gonna up, you're gonna charge a little bit more just because it may take a little bit longer. To be honest, it doesn't, as long as you have really good equipment, it doesn't really matter. You know, if you got good equipment, you're going to be fast either way. If you got uh, bad equipment, then you're, you'll probably take a little bit longer. You know, I don't think there's really that much edging to do or there's much uh, mowing to do or weed eating to do or blowing to do if if it is going to be more work it's probably what a little maybe i don't know five minutes more five ten minutes the tops so i really don't think it's a big deal going bi-weekly now here's 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 a here's a deal though if my customers if they fertilize if they have really good irrigation and they do irrigate their lawns the way they're supposed to then i definitely will recommend those customers to go weekly now my other customers that that don't feed their lawns don't water on a regular basis mostly weeds then going bi-weekly is the way to go now what if you get rained out on a week or something well then there's where it gets kind of tricky you could either just hold off and let your customers know that we let or that well yeah for that week that you got rained out just be like you know what we're gonna have to just wait till um another couple of weeks to get to your lawn or if we could get to your lawn later this week we'll try you may have to work overtime but there's well there's where you, you you'd have to make that adjustment as far as scheduling, it may throw your scheduling off a little bit. But as far as numbers go, I think it seems, I think it seems a lot uh, better, and you can actually make more money going bi-weekly and charging a little bit more doing bi-weekly. So I don't know, guys. Y'all guys, let me know in the comments. Does this make sense? And I'm just kind of, just kind of thinking. I haven't implemented or pushed every other week services. Usually, I just kind of let my customers um, let me know which, whether they want to go weekly or bi-weekly. Then, of course, I do have two, two prices for that. So, always do that, though. If, if anything, always have your bi-weekly customers or every other week weekly customers. Um, make sure that your prices are, are uh, high enough to... You know to make money right and um, and also another thing that I like to implement in my uh, payment policy is to pay up front every week before the before we even or not every week but at the beginning of each month I'll send my customers invoice prepaid service that way I don't have to worry about customers not paying or I don't have to worry about 
um, giving services and then at the end of the month I don't get paid or customers just kind of blow you off or they fire you right without paying me I've had that before and I don't like it so I like my money up front and as long as you're you have a good website you have good social uh, uh, like not social media but um, a good website right a good website uh, a Google good ratings then customers shouldn't have any problem with doing a prepaid service. And also, if you already know your customers and you've had your customers for a while, then probably uh, invoicing them at the end of the month wouldn't be a problem. So far, I'm loving my prepaid service policy, and I think we're going to go ahead and continue to implement this policy um, from uh, now on I started doing this about two years ago and so far it's worked now of course my commercial properties I do invoice them at the end of the month and I, I usually get paid within a week or so so I'm using the echo SRM 225 you just see me uh, put it on the ground there and I'm using the speed heat speed feed head 400 very easy to install very easy to load up your line which I love and it's a real light trimmer here we're using the steel BG 86 handheld blower and guys if you have any uh, questions about like the line trimmer that I was using the echo 225 check out the link below especially if you're just starting out your lawn business you don't need anything very expensive this line trimmer weed eater is perfect you order it online go to go to Home Depot I got the uh, link below and take a look at them So this particular yard, we only service the backyard. We don't do any of the front. HOA takes care of this community's front yard and side. And most of these customers call me to do their flower beds and shrubs, which we're about to do a uh, shrub job just across the street. But hey guys, y'all guys let me know. What do y'all think about just scheduling bi-weekly customers or every other week customers versus weekly customers customers could you make more money making um, scheduling bi-weekly customers y'all guys let me know in the comments below y'all let me know if this is a good good idea Sh should this be something I implement in my business for next season I don't know y'all guys let me let me know in the comments I would definitely like to hear your feedback and guys, thank you once again. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell button, and like this video. We'll see you next time. Peace out. This to me feels like a major.